Welcome back to this edition of Firecast, the daily show, um, Forging Innovation in Rural Education, the 11th summit that we've had here. I'm talking to a teacher who's done some remarkable things in the Hazard Independent School District, uh, Helen Williams, and you've been very involved in pow empowering our young people to do some exciting things. So talk about some of the things that's going on in the Hazard Independent School District that the youth are leading. Right, um, and you mentioned I was a teacher. I don't really, yeah. am not a classroom teacher. Yeah. I'm with the Youth Service Center, and which gives me so much flexibility and the time to get kids involved in projects that normally they would not have a mentor to do. Yeah. So um, some of the things we've been doing, we did something, um, program called TAP in partnership with the University of Kentucky and the Foundation for Healthy, Healthy Kentucky. And it, we first started off with just the tobacco problem. And of course, the last two years, the vaping problem has just snowballed yeah. into where about 80% of our student population is vaping or has vaped. And I think that's in line with the numbers all across the nation. And it's a scary thing as more yeah. and more studies are coming about the damage that it's causing to teenagers' lungs and brain development stuff. We were fortunate that we actually just won a huge uh, award from the Foundation for Health Kentucky for our students' efforts on that. And we have great students and they have a lot of, lot of ideas about how they want to, to do things. And so you just go in and you give them a chance to, to kind of guide them into doing what they do. And so that's just, you know, that's just one example of what we've been doing. Uh, um, I know uh, we have, unfortunately, a, a large homeless problem. Mm -hmm. there in the Hazard Perry County area. I think your students have been active in some projects related to that. They have been active in projects to that, all the way from doing things where they actually went and cooked dinner for them. Um, we've got the current project right now um, that we're doing is I have kids who have formed a team and they're doing uh, interviews mm -hmm. with some of the homeless population. They're wanting to show that these people are humans mm -hmm. and that they're more than just the homeless person that you see on the street. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to bring a lot of that personality to the forefront so that people can sort of change their attitudes about homeless, because you realize that in Hazard, we've, it's, the past six months have been very difficult for our homeless population yeah. with the closing of our homeless shelter. And we still have a lot of community groups that are trying to uh, alleviate that problem and get places for them to live and making sure that they're fed and making sure that we can get them into the whatever social services that will give them some benefit. And so, um, our students recognize that that is a problem and they have so much empathy for the people who find themselves without a bed to sleep in or without a roof over their heads or without a blanket to wrap up in at night. So by getting those stories out, they're going to humanize these people. Uh, and your students have been very entrepreneurial in different things in art, creating art, which uh, photography, which then they sell, mm -hmm. and then also 606. Coffee. Yeah, project. and I've got to tell you that KBEC has, has just been an incredible resource for us. Um, the art projects you talked about, we have students who are very talented and they would be able to capture pictures of things that normally you would just pass by without giving a second glance to. And so that actually even became an entrepreneurial project too. In addition, we've done things for the governor, mm -hmm. um, for the governor's um, luncheon when we do. Um, you know, the Churchill Downs thing. Mm -hmm. We've done some things across the state photography-wise with that. And the student who was doing that actually has gone on to do professional photography in addition to doing some nursing stuff, so she's doing some medical photography now. Um, then we've, <clears throat> we've got um, the project last year was the student, student-led, student-loved project for the 606 coffee shop. And so for the last year, we partnered with a business in Hazard and the kids ran, uh, their coffee shop. We just recently um, closed that down because we were having trouble staffing it during the school year. And so we returned all of our equipment that KVEC had helped fund back to KVEC. And so now they're going to have a, loan, a coffee shop loaner that can be checked out by other schools and other students to do pop-ups around the area. So it's all, it's all about trying to create some excitement for entrepreneurship. You know, we come from a, a depressed economic region. Um, downtown Hazard has, has had its problems with fires and abandoned buildings and meeting business codes and stuff. We're trying to revitalize that. We're trying to make it so that our, what was our coal-dependent economy now switches gears and becomes more of an economy based on the talents of our people. Well, as we know, we do have these severe economic challenges, but 
Uh, are you excited about the future because of what these young people are doing? Oh my gosh, these people are our future. When you come to something like this, you see that, that we have kids who are going to make a difference. We have kids who see what is possible for our area. And their minds are turning right now and they're thinking about things that they want to do and they want to go to school and they want to learn how to do this and they want to come back and they want to open up this and they want to, they want to you know, get involved in this project. We have something really cool in Hazard called Envision Hazard. And it's just a group of, it started out as a group of local people who wanted to create events in Hazard and it's totally blossomed to the point and where we now have- And that was young people that basically Yes, it was, it was. And so now we've got, we've got a, um, we've been able to hire people to help with create the vision for downtown Hazard and make it happen. And we have students who serve on that. They still serve on that. And these are the kids that once they leave the high school, they go into college, they get involved in government and in college, they get involved in entrepreneurial things. These are kids who are going to come back to our area and really make a difference. Yeah, and I know recently, it wasn't too long ago, one of the young ladies went and presented to the city council there in Hazard. Yes, she did. She did. And, I mean, we have, we have young ladies who previously were part of the student senate who are now doing things on the state level and who are speaking at all different kinds of programs here and in Washington, D.C. It's incredible. Well, Helen, appreciate all you're doing. Well, thank, thank you, you for you. doing what you do because you're a big part of what's happening in Eastern Kentucky. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it. <laughs> Good to see you, Ron.